I'm Russ Kickle, and on this episode of American Reef, we're going to talk about a potential way to hopefully save that fish who you found on your floor when you went to check your fish tank. let me paint the scenario. You walk up to your fish tank and you're looking at all your fish and you kind of do a rough inventory and there's that one fish that you can't find. Right? You look under the rocks, in the corners, behind the overflows and you think, man, maybe he jumped, right? And you're really hoping not because it was your favorite fish and then you start looking around on the floor behind the tank and you found them. It's like, oh man, uh, well, I might as well flush them, right? Well, before you flush them and you get on that path, there's a little trick that I want to share with you that in my particular case, it has saved the fish approximately 50% of the time, as well as the other people who I've shared this little trick to, same kind of thing. Um, and I call it fish CPR. It's really not fish CPR, meaning you're not putting your lips anywhere near this thing. But at the same time, it's a process that I follow that Again, if your fish is healthy enough and you get there in time, you'll save them, right? Now, before we go over the fish CPR secret, right, how do you avoid that problem to begin with? Put a lid on your tank, right? For me, I don't like the lids. I just don't, right? So I don't, I, I stay away from the egg crate and, and the rest of them. That being said, the smart thing to do is, again, use some egg crate. It comes in four by two sheets, right? You can take a pair of wire cutters and shape it to whatever form you need, right? And then you prevent the whole issue from happening to begin with. That being said, <laughs> some of us like that look, that top down look that you get on your fish tank. And so I don't use these. Now this in here is actually used because I use it um, after I perform the fish CPR, right? You see these little cutouts Well, what happens is I put this in the corner and then when I put it at the corner, it acts as a barrier so the other fish can't beat up the other fish while he's healing, right? So let me tell you about the fish CPR that gets them into the, you know, the corner kind of quarantine area. Um, basically, what I do is when I see that fish, if he's still wet, <laughs> right? Again, not necessarily a dried up fish, but if he's wet, right, then what I'll do is I'll pick him up. And then I'll go to an open spot in the tank and I'll just take and move this fish back and forth. I'll just glide him into the water column, letting the water go through his mouth, out the gills, that kind of thing. And I won't do it hard, right? Meaning I'll do it kind of gradual and slow and it'll go for about, we'll say 10 to 20 seconds. Then I stop. Then when I stop, I look and I'm looking for the gills to be moving automatically. Um, sometimes it happens right away. Sometimes you have to do this for like three-ish, four-ish minutes, right? Where you do is you go back and forth, and again, 10, 20 seconds, and then you stop, and you look for five, 10 seconds, and then you do it again, right? And after a while, after a few minutes, if you don't see the gills moving, right, then, you know, it's a loss, unfortunately. That being said, at times, you'll start to see that gill moving automatically when you're not moving that fish, which is really cool, right? You're not quite out of the woods yet, right? So you keep on doing that, and I do that on and off kind of thing until I see like an eye twitch, right? Sometimes I'll just catch one little twitch, and then when I see that eye twitch, I know that I've got this thing figured out. So I'll go back and forth, and I'll do this 
again, let's say for approximately five minutes. After that point in time, and I know that I've got something figured out, what I'll do is I'll put that egg crate in the corner and then I'll drop the fish in there, right? Now, in my particular case, the last time this happened, it was with an Aptasia eating file fish. And luckily at the time I thought, hey, I didn't show my viewers this little trick, so it'd be a good idea to grab some video and help explain it. And that's what you are seeing here today. A few months back, I had an Aptasia eating file fish that, again, jumped out, right? I, I found them on the floor. And then after I found them on the floor, I was kind of like, well, you know, it's a good time to videotape it. So what you are seeing here is actually me after I picked up that fish, right? And started using that little, I'll call it fish CPR routine. Um, and again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's definitely worth a try, right? Again, the key there is, you know, was the fish still <laughs> wet, right? When you found them? Because that's kind of the important thing. And when I say wet, I mean, it doesn't have to be soaked, right? But again, wet. Um, that's my trick. Hopefully it helps some of you out there. If it has, send me an email, let me know about it. Otherwise, again, if you need any kind of reef keeping gear, whether that's, again, your fish to your salt to your any kind of reef keeping tool that you need, check out my sponsors, right? They're good, honest guys who deserve a chance to earn that business. That is Bulk Reef Supply, Premium Aquatics, Ecosystems, Tunzi, right? You got SBB corals over there. Again, just a, a plethora of good, honest guys that deserve a chance to earn that business. Um, on the ecosystems, um, they are the makers of the Miracle Mud, right? I had a couple questions this week where customers had asked me, hey, you mentioned ecosystems in your videos, what do they do? Again, Miracle Mud. If you Google Miracle Mud, you'll find out basically that they have this Miracle Mud that ultimately is a great denitrification filter, right? As well as that remineralizes the water. So long story made short, gives you great filtration, but then, you know, when you have a refugium in there, what happens is it will basically create an environment right, that helps grow copepods, amphipods, all that sort of thing that naturally feeds the fish tank. And you've heard Mike Paletta talk about it a million times, etc. But either way, that's Ecosystems. That's their main product. They sell other things as well. But the Miracle Mud is the main product that you can associate with that company. That being said, again, if you have any questions regarding that or any of these other products or sponsors or the fish CPR, just let me know. Again, I'm Russ Kickle, and thanks for watching this episode of American Reef. Mm -hmm.